You're live. I am? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. And who are you, sir? Sit up nice and tall so we can see your face. Um, I'm Max. Max who? Harris. Oh, yeah? How old are you? Um, eight. Eight? When's your birthday? August 24th. August 24th? Well, that's great. And who are you to me? Are you my uncle? No. And are you my best friend? <laughs> well, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. What? Who are you? Hi guys! Hi everyone who is watching or almost tuning in. Look, you can't really get my elves. Look. We gotta, you gotta sit up straight and I gotta bend down like this. So, hey guys. Hello group. We are coming to you in a live video today because it's Saturday. Um, we are, we just finished all of our chores, cleaning the house, getting ready for who is coming in town today. Aunt Michelle. Maxie's Aunt Michelle is coming in town today. That's my sister. And so we have a little more cleaning and cooking to do, but we decided to pop on here and do a little live video because Maxie really wanted to do one for me. He believes he's going to go viral, and I'm in full support of that. Because today is the last day of the Thanksgiving week sale. Black Friday sale, Thanksgiving week sale. 70% off at designsbylittlebee.com. All week. It's been going on all week. Okay. If you miss it, don't worry. There's still time. You can shop anytime today. You can shop from your phone and anytime. download later. Anytime, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have to be on a laptop or a desktop? Where no. can you shop? You can shop on your phone. Mm -hmm. What about like a tablet? Yeah. Yeah. You can shop anywhere you have the internet. Pay for your designs. Buy them. And then you can come back. Good morning, Brenda. Say good morning, Brenda. Good morning, Brenda. See, you can see that she said good morning. So we say good morning. Good morning. I went Black Friday shopping yesterday for the first time in maybe like 10 years. I got up at 5 a.m. Uh, she said, good morning, young man. Mm -hmm. I got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. There was nobody out. Nobody. I went to Home Depot, uh, Joanne, and Bed Bath & Beyond. Nobody. Nobody. There were no lines. There was no traffic. There was less traffic on the two busiest streets I've ever driven on. Less traffic than there is on, like, an average Tuesday. Can you believe that? You guys could have gone with me. Like, I drive a stick shift, right? And I was terrified of the traffic and the clutch and the clutch and the clutch. Nothing. It was fine. So, get out there and do some shopping or shop online for your loved ones. And while you're at it, stop by designsbylittlebee.com and enjoy 70% off. Because it ends tonight. Now, here's the secret to that. This is not really a secret because our group is over 25,000 members. And you guys know that I do this every year. Yeah. 25,000? 25, 25, yeah, it's, I think it's like 28,000 now. Anyway, it's not really a secret, but the best kept not secret, um, or not best kept secret in embroidery is that my website, it, the sales are run manually, which means I have to get in there and say, yes, 70% off, and then no, 70% off. So if you think I'm going to cook and clean and entertain and enjoy being with family today and then stay up until midnight, to click no on the sale, you already know the answer to that question. So <laughs> the sale will actually go all night until I wake up tomorrow. Oh, but don't count on that. Don't try to like wake up early and shop or do anything like that. It's just, I'm going to go to bed when I want to go to bed. And then when I wake up, whether it's six or eight or 10, whatever, I'm going to turn that sale off. And I'm going to have people that are really sad because they were looking at it. And then all of a sudden the prices revert. So um, anyway, that's the secret is that it never really ends at midnight on um, on Saturday because I have to push the button. And the Saturday of Thanksgiving week, I don't know about you, but I'm not staying up till midnight to turn off a button on a website. Not doing it. No. So, yeah. No. Wouldn't do it. Um, with the individual I item, could do it. you could do it. You are not staying up till midnight. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> um, okay. When I was sitting down to do our video, I was trying to grab some things to talk about so that we would have something to talk about because he thinks we're going to sew something and I'm like, no, we're not. So I found this at my desk. I cleaned my office yesterday, you guys. 
I cleaned it. And Maxie helped me today. What did you do in Mama's office? What's in the closet in Mama's office? They already know. Three little boxes. Three is two. I have two litter boxes in the closet in this bedroom, which is my office. Um, and he came in here this morning while I was answering emails and trying to get some stuff done in the morning. And he said, hey, Mom. And I said, what? And he said, I'm looking for some chores that I can do. So I said, I think Santa will really appreciate that if you would help me clean the litter boxes. So he helped me clean litter boxes. He cleaned his own room, made his bed, helped me vacuum, helped me put away some hoops and frames that I had that were kind of in a jumble on the floor. We had to organize them. Um, so this is my little helper. He is really earning his Santa visit uh, this year, if you know what I mean. Say hi, Janie. Hi, Janie. Say hi, Christina. Hi, Christina. See, we can see them saying hello right there. And then you can say hi and say hi back to them. It's like you're talking to them. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, I cleaned my office. Maxie helped me a ton. I found, you guys know that we have a super cute Uno zipper bag for your Uno cards. We have one. I made an Uno one for us. We have a Skip Bow one. I have a Phase 10 one I've made for myself. Um, I have the Yahtzee one. All of our games are stored in a little um, hutch thing. Oh! You did it! Good job! That's Sarah. That's our friend Sarah. I met her before. You did? Yeah, I met somebody from in, Facebook. In person? Yeah, in person. In Maryland. Maryland? Yeah, I went to Maryland. Do you not know that? Last Where year. is that? Northeast United States. It's one of those little tiny states. Um, oh, that scared me. My computer screen, my monitors went off of my computer, and I thought we were gone. I was like, no! Um, okay, anyway. I have, um, I have, look, who just commented? Kelly! <laughs> Kelly! Um, all of our games, all the card games that we have, or dice games or anything like that, are in our uh, little, um, supposed to be like a China Hutch thing. And so I made a bag for all of our games. We have an Uno one, a Phase 10 one, a Skip Bow one, and a Yahtzee one. You want to stick around while I talk about the fabric and stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay. So speaking of fabric, you guys. Okay, everybody knows that Dollar Tree is raising their prices to dollar and a quarter tree, like in March or April, right? It's not going to be Dollar Tree anymore. It's going to be Dollar 25 tree. It's gonna what? Be, it's going to be Dollar and a quarter tree. Dollar and, and you know what's weird is I was just thinking the other day that you know Dollar Tree has been around that I know of I don't know how long it's been around but I remember shopping at Dollar Tree when I was a teenager do you know how long ago I was a teenager a lot a lot, a lot of years and I was thinking to myself with like inflation just w with normal inflation and then taking into account I got water for you and then taking into account the recent inflation with the pandemic and supply and supply chain and all that stuff I was like, how does Dollar Tree still, still sell stuff for a dollar? And I swear I brought it to fruition that they would change the prices. So now it's going to be dollar and a quarter tree, but I'm still going to go there religiously. I'm still going to get a bunch of stuff there. Wait, did I mention Jan? No, I didn't. You didn't? What did you say? Thanks. What, what did she say? Hey, sweetie helper. Yeah. And there under there is our friend Beva. Beva? Beva. Yeah. Because the first time I saw her name, I said Beva. Is that Beva like beverage or Beva like Eva? And she said it's Beva like beverage. I think. Mm. Is that right, Beva? I wouldn't want to drink that beverage. <laughs> a Beva beverage? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, with that said about Dollar Tree, I don't care if it's a dollar and a quarter because they have added so many craft supplies. See, she said yes, it is Beva. <laughs> Go me. Mm -hmm. Um, they have added so many craft supplies. They call it Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. And I used to get stuck in like the toy section because I'm a five-year-old. But lately, every time I go to Dollar Tree, I'm not a five-year-old. Lately, every time... How old am I? Don't tell them. You don't even know how old I am. No. No, okay. I know you're in the 60s or something. <laughs> I'm not in my 60s, you fruit. You look like it. <laughs> Don't say that to your mother. I'm in my 30s. You are? Yes. <laughs> Got a white knuckle grip on the 30s. I won't let go. I'm in the last year. <laughs> I get six more months, and you're throwing me a surprise party for my 40th birthday, so start playing. Surprise? Okay, yeah, it's going to be a surprise. Don't tell me. Okay. 
So anyway, when you go to Dollar Tree in your 30s or your 60s, <laughs> there's a section called Crafter Square. Yeah. They have acrylic paints. They have um, watercolor paints. They have, I mean, of course, it's your mileage may vary. It's based on location. But ours has um, little wood, like uh, crappy pressed wood um, things for you to paint. I'm not in the doghouse. <laughs> you are in the doghouse. <laughs> That's right. 60. He said I look 60. Come on. Okay. Um, they have the little bird houses and um, little mini kind of jewelry box things made out of... Um, some of it is like pressed wood. Some of it is almost like a paper mache stuff for you to buy and paint. Um, they have sequins. Uh, Maxie, do you see that top right cube with the confetti stuff in it? It's white and green. See the top right cube? Walk over there. Put your hand up. I also got some confetti. See the cubes? Look at the one in the corner. You see that white confetti? Yeah, give me all that confetti. The other one too. Other one too. And bring me that zebra print vinyl under it. And the leopard print under that one. I love having helper for live videos because y'all know I just start doing my random stuff and I didn't bring it. Okay, so they have confetti, uh, pom-poms, googly eyes. I've even seen the permanent uh, adhesive vinyl. And uh, guys, it's a dollar. I'm not going to vouch for like, yeah, Cricut. It's a craft cutter. Um, I can't vouch for uh, the quality of that particular vinyl. But like, I've also seen, uh, they have craft knives, like the name brand that I don't say out loud because I'm worried they're going to sue me. Um, I have one here, so I think I can mention this, though. Oh, no, this is Fiskars. This is my craft knife. They have these at Dollar Tree. You know, it's the kind with the crappy little metal handle. But so what? And it comes with, like, two extra blades, I think. Look. Oh. Yeah. You do not want to mess with that. Mm -hmm. Ask me how many times I've sliced into my finger with that sucker. A lot. On my last trip to Dollar Tree, I realized they have fabric. 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 Now, it is um, 20 by 21 inches. I'm not sure how that compares to a fat quarter. What's a fat quarter? Well, yeah, what's a fat quarter? <laughs> fat. Well, I'm not even typing in the box. <laughs> this is hard to do while you're also doing a live video. Yeah. Fat quarter measurement. Mm -hmm. Okay, a fat quarter is 18 by 22. Okay, so this is e this is about the same as a fat quarter. It's 20 by 21. So mm -hmm. if you want to do math, fantastic. So this is basically more or less a fat quarter for a dollar, <laughs> which if you shopped at the Joanne Black Friday sale, you know, one of their doorbusters was 10 for a dollar. Uh, 10 for a dollar. 10 for $10 fat quarter. So <laughs> here are the four fabrics from Dollar Tree. And again, this is like a, the size of a fat quarter. So I got that one, uh, the holly with the candy canes. I got this one that has little Christmas trees and little gnomes. Nice. Um, this is just some great stripes, Christmas. And this one, so cute. It says merry and bright. I guess I can open it. Why not? Mm. Uh, well, it's like a Christmas present. It's a Christmas present to myself, my friend. <laughs> Wait. Hey, you know who we should bring to this live video? Bart. Will you throw that away from me? My friend Bart. Bart? Yeah. Hmm. Do you want to be Bart's keeper for the day? Mm -hmm. Nah. This. <laughs> we used to do a show on Mondays called the Bart and Melissa Show. <laughs> Monday Mood with Bart and Melissa. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Make sure your little tiny head stays in the camera. Okay. Okay. So, anyway. Get that so, here is... Oh, this is so cute. And this was a dollar. Look at this print. She said it. Cute fabric. I know. Look. <laughs> Like, that is so cute. Look at the little stick person looking Santa. And how cute is that reindeer right there? And this was a dollar right here with his little scarf. So this was a buck. And with, I mean, just think of what you could usually make with a fat quarter. You can make a little 5x7 zipper bag, um, a matching notebook cover um, for a little notebook, um, a key fob with an applique on it. Whatever. So those were a dollar. And I just wanted to show y'all. So even when the price goes up to a dollar and a quarter, I'm still going to go buy it. So I'm not worried about the Dollar Tree. I'm, I'm shocked it took them this long, honestly. <laughs> Jamie said I need to go shopping. So cute. Yeah, we need to go to Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also, um, I use all sorts of... I try to do cute 
um, sample photos. So I've been using a lot of scrapbook paper, uh, which I got was 70% off at Joann. So I got some for Valentine's Day and some upcoming holidays and some really cute other prints. <laughs> Because um, I use those as backgrounds for my projects. I just think it looks cuter than just the plain uh, hexagon uh, beehive honeycomb fabric that I've been using for four years, I think. Four so, years? Four years. I've, been, I've been doing this a long time. Um, speaking of doing this a long time, I have a, another fun fact to tell you. So I got some confetti and glitter, and this is like fake snow. For my, which I will no doubt get everywhere all over my house, which is why we're not going to open it until company leaves later. <laughs> Um, just got these little fillers. This says ornament filler. Um, so I can use it as like confetti in my you pictures just to be quick. How do you fill the ornaments? You take the top off of it and put the glitter in. Oh, I thought you just smash it and then we put it again. <laughs> and another thing I saw there that I really want to go back and get, because I was on a quick trip the other day. I was supposed to be getting one thing and I got like three things, but I could have gotten like 20 things. Um, they have a really cute section yeah. of DIY ornaments. Um, they're plastic, and the ones I saw are like mason jars, but they're upside down. So you could open the bottom, create something in there, and then screw it back on and maybe like super glue it or hot glue it or something and, and keep it shut. And it hangs upside down like a little like a little jar ornament. So cute. And I really want to take the boys there and let them select mm -hmm. their own. Yeah, you're my boy. I want to take them there and select their own uh, glitter and little fillers. Like maybe they have little miniatures that you could put in there and make like a little scene. Like <laughs> so for like twenty bucks. Yeah, Christina said typical boy answer: smash it to fill it. That's not nice scene. Yeah, he's very destructive. He wants to break all the things. Yeah, um, I sure do. So I really want to take them there, and for like I think maybe fifteen or twenty bucks, you could have your own like afternoon of of ornament crafting and make something that you can keep. You know. So, um, hit up Dollar Tree for your holiday crafts, for some fabric, for goodies. You know what this fabric would be great for and what I actually used it for? Where'd I put that ornament? Oh, oh rats. Rats. Oh, I have it. Ah! Okay. I can't believe I actually had something I'm talking about. So, this fabric that I got at Dollar Tree, I used it already for this gift card. I know it's backwards. It says to Ben from Mom. And I also made a little um, a little matching zipper bag with just some red, basic red chevron lining. I thought violet. You thought what? Violet. Violet? No, it's red. So what I'm going to do with this is, don't tell Ben, okay? What I'm going to do with this is, it says to Ben from Mom. He loves uh, gift cards and money that he can spend on his video games. So I'm going to either put a, like a Nintendo gift card or um, a $20 bill or something in this little bag. That way it's not just like handing him money and I'm going to put this on the tree. So he's going to find his little gift and it's money. So it's not just boring like money. You know, it's like a little thing with your name on it. So that's what I'm going to do with this. This is the basic uh, top zip square zipper bag. Um, it's the same as the top zip vert vertical in the 4x4 four four size because all 4x4 four four is 4x4, four four, so it's all square. Um, and this is the gift tag project. It includes the applique, but of course you don't have to use it if you don't want to. The to and from, listen to this because somebody's going to ask me. The to and from is included with the gift tag. And then you receive a half inch font. It's called Stick Bug. Stick um, Bug? Stick Bug. Do the Stick Bug. Um, I made a, a font that's going to be coming out in multiple sizes, but for this gift tag, I included the half inch size, which is this big. So the one you get is perfect for this gift tag, but that's the only size included. And it's $5 regular price, but it's 70% off this week. So how much is that? 70% 70, 70 off. And what's 70% off? I don't off? know my percent. You don't know your percents? Okay, 10% would be 50 cents. So do it the way I do it. The regular price is now going to be 30% of the price. So it was $5. 10% is 50 cents. What is 3 times 50 cents? What if I gave you 3 50 cents? How much would that be? 50 cents? $1. 1 dollar 50 cents. 
A dollar and fifty cents. So this is um, this project right here. The gift tag comes for a dollar fifty, and you get the gift tag. It's got the applique included. If you want to use it, you don't have to. It's got the um, the to and from already, and you can choose your own font to use, or you can use the one. That's and included. again, they answer it. Yeah, a dollar fifty. See, Janie did the math faster than we did. Thanks, Janie. Well, they answered it. After. After? Well, yeah, but it takes people a minute to type. So now I just want to show you some projects and stuff that I had on my desk yes. that I'm going to start working on as soon as I start working probably tomorrow morning. I think I'll go back to answering emails and getting into it. If you have an email or an Etsy message into me, I promise uh, I will, I'm will. i going to start answering them again. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. Took a few days off just for uh, just fatigue. Um, so now I just want to show you a few projects. For I, one thing, I just found out that three of the cats are on the cat tree. Oh my goodness. Three of our cats are on the cat tree in front of my desk. I have a cat tree at the corner so I can like see them. It's very relaxing, very zen. Natural circle monogram. This is so cute and I might keep this one. What's a what? Monogram. What's a monogram? Oh. I have failed you, child. <laughs> your monogram is... Initials? It's your initials, but for ladies, we put ours in first name, middle name, last name. Melissa Bean Harris. So, it's your Melissa, monogram. Melissa Bean? Melissa B. Harris. Oh, I thought So, my monogram, Melissa my monogram is <laughs> MHB. Um, but is there any boys watching then then what boys embroider too you know we have boys in our group yeah anybody with fingers can embroider a person with one finger <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> one finger <laughs> you push them in I don't know if there's many people out there with one finger. <laughs> how long have we been doing this? Yeah. I feel like we've been talking a long time. Okay. Yeah, for like an hour or something. So here's a few other things. First things first, third things third, 12 things 12, whatever I've talked about. Um, I got four. this hat at Joanne, this Santa hat. It's like knit, which I love because it's just different than the usual like knit. fabric one. Um, and I'm going to put my name on it. And I am, of course, going to use... My knockdown stitching using Embrilliance Enthusiast. I will put a link um, on this, the description of this video when it finishes. I will put a link to my blog about knockdown stitching, how awesome it is, and you guys know that I'm an affiliate Can I for Embrilliance. Can you code the link? You absolutely may watch me code the link. <laughs> it's more of just a cut and paste, but yeah, I mean copy and paste. Um, but yeah, I will put a link. You guys know that I'm an affi affiliate for Embrilliance. I do not sell their software, like I'm not their store, but I have an affiliate link to their website, um, which gives me a commission or a credit if you make a purchase on their website. It just remembers that you followed my link and it gives me a commission. And that is a way that I make money um, because I love and brilliant software. I've never used anything else. I've never had to use anything else because it has everything I want. And there are so many modules of Embrilliance that I won't go into now. But um, if you follow my affiliate link and you make any purchase of any module, whether it's Enthusiast, uh, Density Repair Kit, Stitch Artist, which is their digitizing module, um, uh, Essentials, which is what most people get to start because it, you get put your fonts in and, and merge your letters and do things like that. Um, Enthusiast, which has a bunch of different really cool tools, including knockdown stitching, which is great for stockings and fuzzy fabrics. And something I was going to say earlier that I forgot is Black Friday, which was yesterday, was the anniversary of Stitch Artist's release. And I remember when it was announced, I was not digitizing. I thought, I don't ever want to do that. It sounds awful. It sounds boring. Um, and they announced they were going to release a digitizing module, which means I already have Essentials and Enthusiast. And all I have to do is put new a new serial number in. And it just pops up on my screen. Like, I don't have to go to different software. I don't have to have several programs open at once. So I bought it and, like, fell in love with the digitizing process. Like, loved it. Could not stop. I mean, I, I do it for fun. Would I marry it? Absolutely. Mm. I've been doing this job for six years. Six years? Which is the longest I've done any job. 
<laughs> Except for me and Wait. your mom. But that's unpaid. Wait. What? All right. You worked on other jobs? Yes, I worked on other jobs. I've had a lot of other jobs. We'll talk about it later. Okay. So, oh, there's your friend. I got to see on with the cutie. Am I? Are you the cutie? Yes. <laughs> okay. So now, just for the remainder of the video, we've had our fun. And now, I just want to show you some projects. Just so you remember what they are. And so you can see some new stuff. One, um, okay, first, I found this while I was cleaning my office. I cleaned my office. I found so much stuff. So I found this one, which I'm not getting rid of because I love it. Found this notebook. This is the split applique notebook covers. Split. Split applique. And what I did to this one is I took the mini composition book snap case and I merged the split applique onto it because they, they're the same size and they fit. I did that using my Embrilliance Essential software. And um, the reason I didn't put these out is because I just didn't want to do every design in the regular, in the snap, in the... Um, the barn door box with the folded elastic going around it. Like, I just, I don't want to have split applique in 10 different things. If you buy this one and you buy the snap, you can merge anything you need using your software. So I just feel like that's something that I can take my time making new designs. And if you guys want a variation on something, you can do that yourself. You know, that releases me to be more creative and not just yeah. pump out the same thing on different notebook covers. I mean, it's useless. You can do this yourself. Super easy. I'll show you how to do it in another video if I don't have one that already shows you this. Another funny thing I wanted to show you all about I'm this one. I'm going to let Will out. Okay. Another funny thing I wanted to show you guys about this notebook. I like to show my mistakes to you guys. So when I was stitching this one out, I had it flat on the on the hoop like this, right? And I was trimming my vinyl and just totally trimmed the edge off way too short. I trimmed the edge off like right here. And I was like, I'd already done the embroidery. And I was like, <sighs> so what I did was... I took a piece of the same vinyl. It's like you were crying out at work or again in school and then you <laughs> Oh yeah, my scissors and just you went crazy. It. Yeah, I'd cut it too short. And I'd already put my name on it and everything. Uh, this is honeybee font, by the way. Um, so I took a strip of the same vinyl, folded it in half, and just put this random fold on the back. <laughs> it's not there for any reason. No. No. It's just there to cover up the fact that I got it too maybe short. Maybe you can. And it looks, I mean, it looks like I, maybe I did some kind of binding thing. I don't know. But this is a split applique notebook cover merged onto the snap maybe can, case. Maybe you can use it to store, like, jam or beans or something. <laughs> <laughs> something that's really slim and very short. To store jam or beans? <laughs> yes. It's the only thing I could think of. I would Water or anything you want. I would like to crawl in your head and see what goes on in there. Yep. All yeah. there is in my head is a wonderful land full of crazy things. Okay, Max. <laughs> Mountains coming to life and walking over ice cream. Okay. Okay. Split applique over cover. The one that this one fits, it comes in two sizes. Mini composition book. It's this one. Get them at Walmart, Amazon, Dollar Me. Tree, sometimes. Other places. It's four and a half inches tall, three and two, three point two five inches wide. Fits perfectly in five by seven hoop. The other size it comes in is a six notebook. Don't ask me the measurements because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a very common uh, know the size uh, notebook. I I can't know the measurements of everything right off the top of my head. Thanks, Nancy. Oh, Maxie. Yeah. Get me. Where'd it go? Hang on. Where what go? Get up. I don't know. I want to show Nancy. It's a notebook that I had. Excuses for a second. <laughs> Let me get in first. Okay. Very small space. Very small. Good thing I'm wearing pants in this video, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you cannot do a video with no pants, you guys. No. Um. So I wanted to show Nancy that. <laughs> Because when I made my, uh, when I was making a sample for the Christmas tree camper, I have a customer who's been buying hand painted ornaments from me for years, years, probably years? 10 years, 10 years. 
I don't even advertise them anymore. I just, some people message me and they say, I need one or I broke mine. Can you make me one? And of course I'll make one, but I don't advertise them anymore because they're so tedious and I used to do hundreds a year and I don't do them anymore. Anyway, her name is Nancy. So hi, Nancy. I thought, I thought you'd get a kick out of that. I have your name <laughs> sitting around my office. <laughs> um, I'm going to send that to that customer when I finish her ornaments this year. Okay. You're welcome, Nancy. So two more things that I just saw when Maxine was getting me my Christmas confetti. Don't forget the vinyl at designsbylittlebee.etsy.com. It's in my Etsy. Etsy shop because I love Etsy's interface. They're shipping. Um, I hate their fees, but it is what it is. My website can't do it right now. So don't forget to shop. This is called 90s Kid. And I can't believe, I'm so embarrassed, 90s Kid. Well, it looks like these patterns that we used to have in the 90s for our school folders and binders and stuff. But... Um, well, wacky. Yeah, with the colorful prints and the animal prints. Um, so I call it 90s Kid Vinyl. And it's called, it's at, they're at designsbylittlebee.etsy.com. Was there a mistake? Yeah. My, I started a new trend with my weird with back, your back fold. Mistake. Back fold. <laughs> mistake. Did you do air quotes? Yeah. Do it again. With your mistake. <laughs> You're a great co host. Um, this is the, no, I'm just going to show you a few things that are new-ish. Um, this is the Naughty or Nice notebook cover. It also, all the notebook covers now come in mini composition book and A6 size. The mini composition book is 5x7 friendly. The A6 is not. It is 6x10 and up. There's your Christmas tree, classic truck with Christmas tree sanitizer cases. Now, I want to show you something about these real quick since I'm talking about them. The classic truck mm -hmm. has the same bottom Thanks, as the, um, I know, you're like selling this show. I need to have you on all the time. Um, the classic tree, the classic truck sanitizer cases has the same bottom as the hippie van. Remember, it's straight and it's got wheels coming out. I realize that the straight bottom is kind of um, weird for open in your hand sanitizer, but it's just an artistic decision that I chose to take because it's really easy to remedy that issue right. you just cut a slightly cut it slightly taller in the back and then make sure that that's the way you insert your sanitizer case and then it's easily you just pop it down like that so I know you guys might look at that and go I don't like it because I don't think the sanitizer is going to come out I mean it's not I thought the creative direction of it to me was worth the little trim around the edge rather than just, I just, I love the shapes and I like to stay as true to the shape as possible. So that's why I did it that way. I have a PDF that's included with all the classic truck sanitizer cases that tells you that. Like, I know this is flat and straight and you might be like, what am I going to do? But all you got to do is trim the back and just open it that way. What am I going to do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> um, so that's the snap tab and that is the eyelet version. Here's the classic eyelet. truck with no tree. And I put my last name, Harris, on there. It looks like hams. That's I'm going to your face. Hams. <laughs> it looks like hams. Oh, I should have spaced that out better. Hams. It's the hams truck. Fits perfectly. Unless your name was like super califragilistic, Then that would not. Where do you know not... that? To put palm on, just scoop it, dive, fill it. Yes. <laughs> I don't know that one. Um, so that fits perfectly on the truck. Okay, a few more things. Uh, nutcracker sanitizer nut case. Nutcracker? Every, yeah, the nutcracker, the ballet. Oh, yeah, I know that. Every human being who has hands should have this sanitizer case because, because. look, see his little mouth? He's a nutcracker, right? Uh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stop. Crack nuts. I want to crack nuts. <laughs> so yes, hams, nuts, hams, hams. That's the hams truck. This is the hams. Where the hams? <laughs> Okay, so Stop it. everybody hey. needs this. Candy cane sanitizer cases. These come in. Uh, <laughs> these come, come in regular uh, red striped candy canes and rainbow. Do you know what candy canes these are? Rainbow. These are cherry. 
You know those cherry can what did you just do? Oh. Cherry candy canes are my cherry. favorite. Candy. Me too. Really? I love cherries. I do too. Okay, so I made a bunch of stuff, stuff. with the regular and with the That's rainbow. Nice. Look at that. Look. No. Is that so cute? I love so that. Um, and for what? Oh, and I also have the matching Wait, fobs for the classic. Is this an hour long? It seems like it. We've been talking a long time. Yeah, but it's okay. I, it seems like it was. Because there's 30 people watching. 45 hours. What? <laughs> it has been. Okay, and then for whatever reason in this box, I also had my mountain oh, life. Reason. I know that ba that's backwards, but you'll have to take my word mountain for it. Mountain life. I saved mountain life. That's it. That's all I got. That's it. I'm done with this show. Yep. Max is done. Mm. Bart is absolutely done. Ugh. It has been wonderful doing this live. Sure not. I hope you've <laughs> been thoroughly entertained. Maxie, what do we say? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> what would you say? It's the end of the video. Bye. Well, would you like to thank them for watching and listening? Thanks for watching. Talk to him. There's your, there's your camera. Oh, it is? Yeah. I don't see it's it. Right, it's right there. <laughs> see my finger on it? Oh. <laughs> Just look in that general direction. <laughs> All right. I always say, my, I always say, on today's episode of, where are those scissors? Where are those scissors? <laughs> no, that's not what I always say. I always say, We'll see you in the next video, and we'll chat with you in the group. It's been a blast. Bye. Say bye. Bye.